thanks for tuning in. This is Optibonics Mitch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pop-up pizza playset anchovy alley as you can see really nice package here which is very much like a, a pizza box kind of i mean you got the kind of pizza design here on that side you got it there you got a little bit going on here that's what it's really kind of designed to replicate as you can see it says that it's 18 inches tall so it is a very big set uh, not as big as a turtle layer but a nice complimentary accessory to go along with that uh, it is noted right here on the front that figures are sold separately so this does not come with any of the figures and as you can see it folds up into well well it says right here that it's a pizza box that pops open into a subway scene which is really very cool like i said it kind of plays on the whole pizza uh, angle you got a real nice in image here of the turtles you got leonardo here in the front Raphael, donatello and of course michelangelo come around here to the back and you see all the the, the play features for it a bigger image down here of what really is going on see the turtles having fun it does come with a uh, oven launching pizza thing really kind of funny and then like i said it's a pizza box that pops open to it so it all folds up into a kind of pizza box looking thing and up here at the top it says who's hungry for pizza the turtles are always ready for whatever pops up open the pizza box and serve up a fresh slice topped with furious ninja moves above or below the city streets take down shredder the foot clan and the crane so that's about it for the packaging of it and like i said it does kind of open like a pizza box you just open it like so and on the inside here you have it you got these little uh bits right here i don't know what those are for because as you can see i'm just opening this here live on on the on the actual video uh he does come with or it does come with the the instructions you got some stickers here which i always love applying stickers that's always fun so let's get this fully assembled to take a look and see how cool it actually is all right guys so here we have the playset open up and out of its packaging now, i got it all fully assembled and you can see a city sewer here on the bottom now one thing that's absolutely fantastic about this that i really love is the fact that for the longest time when, when i grew up a lot of play sets had the ability to kind of fold up and be portable when I mean, you think back to the old castle grayskull you could fold that up you could open it you could play with it you could take it to your friends then you could go home the 2000 series turtle layer also had a similar thing where you could actually fold it in half and like i said it became portable that's exactly what this is and i absolutely love that the the new turtle layer is not portable at all you that thing is too massive to take anywhere so i love the fact that they incorporated that in here and i love the fact that they're carrying over that kind of tradition with their play sets uh, as you can see you got a really nice kind of very bright neon image here of the turtles uh, you got what looks like a, a pizza box with a whole bunch of lines and things on there um that's really about it, it I just love the fact that it's portable. It, it really doesn't look like a pizza box much to me, to be totally honest. I mean, it kind of does. I mean, I guess the, the red dots here around the sides kind of give it that look, but it's kind of a stretch. And like I showed you here on the bottom, you flip it on the bottom and you see where it says City Sewer. Now, to uh, get it to its actual playset mode, first what you want to do is take this section and lift this up just like so. And then you're going to angle this all the way back just get it out of the way and then you can see that all the other accessories such as the pizza store right inside here you got two pieces of pizza that store in each of these little segments so it's wonderful that they have a place to store those and then this is the the pizza oven launcher which honestly this thing kind of sucks so i do love that that is incorporated into the storage on here very cool so to do this it's really big angling up you just want to fold this all the way up and then actually lock that down into place this can flop all the way back i don't know if you could even actually see that but that back section just flips here and then literally all you do is just take this and fold this down and here you have the entire set very easy but still very portable like i said it just literally just folds up and it's right there and it's all fully assembled and it's ready to go now with the the oven thing you've got a couple different spots for it you got a total of three spots you got one here you got one here and you got one there uh, you can put it wherever you really want it, it, it doesn't matter uh, but to be totally honest i don't think it works all that well what you do is you push put this in here and uh, i'm just going to slide it in through here uh, and you can see where it is spring loaded the problem is when it's straight up and down like this it doesn't really spring out very much you can kind of see it just kind of droops 
out if you keep it straight. So we're going to set it here, angle down a little bit, and it just, just go, bleh, it just, it really is kind of lame. It doesn't really do all that much. Now, if you actually take it and angle it back a little bit where you can see that's going to fling it, you can see where it would be a lot more powerful and it flings out a whole lot better. So honestly, I, I don't really care for this gimmick on here. It, it's a nice touch, but to be totally honest, I I just like the pizza bits and they're just little round bits with stickers on them. But you can take this and you can make Leonardo really happy by giving him an actual piece of pizza that you can hold. So it's just an extra accessory. I think that it, it, it doesn't work too well with this, but you can use it with your other figures, which is really cool. So getting this out of the way, starting off on the detail, I wanted to kind of highlight this. This is really cool. This is, you got like some tires. You got a lot of junk down here. This is supposed to replicate a subway and you can see a lot of junk there. It, it's kind of hard to see, but it's all nicely molded in there, which is absolutely wonderful. That's a wonderful attention to detail now for some of its play features it's it's kind of weird because like here is a, a foot soldier it, uh, he's a little bit too big for this so you kind of have to hunker him over just to kind of get him to stand there and trying to get him positioned and actually standing on the on the ground is a little bit tricky but you can actually take and we're gonna put uh <laughs> leo here um well, and that's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do. Here we go. One hand in. Gonna get this hand in. And you can... <laughs> this is this is really gonna be rather silly. But uh, you, you can have this. And then you can have him swing down and kick him. And you can see it opens the door. But because he's too big, he doesn't actually fall out through there. So... I guess that kind of works, and you can see the uh, the door here just clips closed, and I don't know, maybe you can, I don't know, I mean, it, it's really very kind of a, a pointless sort of thing, but it, it's, it's a, again, a nice, nice play feature that I, I do appreciate them having, and then you can actually have this guy sit here on this, if I can get him to stand, and you can have him sneak up here behind this, and then push well that sucked <laughs> he just fell he's a little drunk and then you just take this and and you you can just have him fall because he's drunk but push that and then he goes flying as you can see it just pushes down and then again that springs forward you got the different stairs you got one here you got one here uh you got the um the opening here which is kind of like a subway and then you look here on the sticker and one thing that's actually kind of cool i'm just going to close this is i love the sticker and how it kind of looks like it's going off in the distance i really do like that it adds a little bit of realism to it so that's something that i do appreciate and then you come up here to the top and, and again you, you have the the gimmick where you can push him through so we're gonna stand him right here in front of this uh, little pizza parlor which again it's it's not the easiest thing to do to get this guy to stand and then you're gonna take this and uh this is gonna uh, i knew he was gonna fall so we're just gonna have him stand or hold on to this and then this is actually spring loaded so you set this guy right here and then you if i can actually get him to stand in uh, well, uh, okay, that didn't work. So again, all of these, and, and the door just you know, springs open, but this is on a, a spring-loaded gimmick, and I mean, you can see the, the the playability with it. It is for kids, so I, I, I am being a little bit more lenient with it, and, and the, the foot soldier just decided to fall completely down. So uh, it, is, it is a good set. Don't get me wrong. I do really enjoy this, and I do think that it looks nice like I said used with the, the the regular turtle sewer so it is a very fun kind of set to have it, it's just it's definitely not the best but in terms of a play set this is a whole lot more affordable of a figure uh, play set to be able to buy you know the original sewer layer is very expensive it's about a hundred hundred to hundred and twenty dollars this one I think is like only 20 or 30 bucks so it really isn't all that expensive and it's really kind of fun to be totally honest with you then when you're done playing and you're ready to go home from your friend's house all you have to do is lift this section this is gonna fold all the way in you take the pieces of pizza store those right here in the little uh, 
groove sections. And like I said, this I absolutely love. It lets kids really become responsible and not lose their toys. Wonderful touch if you ask me. Then you take this, you fold this in. This is gonna lock right into place like so. And then you fold this all the way down. You got that like so, bring this down, boom locked up and now you have it ready to go and you're able to head back home with all your toys secure safe and portable without a doubt this is a set that i would recommend picking up all day long in terms of playability it is definitely designed for kids and a lot of the play features really do kind of reflect that it is kind of i don't want to say dumbed down but it isn't as intricate as the sewer itself but it's still fun nonetheless so if you're on a budget and you want to have something to have your turtles interact with, this is absolutely worth picking up. But really, that's about it, guys. So once again, thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibonimus. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotimus. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.